So 2018's coming to an end. If you haven't heard, they're going to phase out Creator Studio in 2019. So you really need to learn all about the new YouTube Studio. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use YouTube Studio in 2018 and beyond. Deliver your value. Hi, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and I am here to help you deliver your value through online video. And hey, if you'd like to receive future notifications that can help you deliver your value through online video, be sure to click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. So we're looking at YouTube Studio. For those of you who may not be familiar with it, it is the replacement to Creator Studio, the behind the scenes where you do all the technical work, check out your analytics and a variety of other things in relation to your YouTube video. Videos. What I want to show you in this video is the new YouTube studio, how to get to it if you haven't checked it out yet, what features are there, what features are still to be updated. It's not complete just yet, but we're going to get into all that. I'm going to show you. Let's hop over onto the computer and take a look. All right, so I'm going to get you the information you need as straightforward as possible in the least amount of time. So if you missed something the first time, feel free to rewind, watch it again. Let's take a look. So we're right now we're taking a look at at the actual classic version of YouTube. Uh, you can see it's the white background, the old design. Now, to get to YouTube Studio, which is the replacement to Creator Studio, from this screen, we're actually going to dive into Creator Studio first. If you click your icon in the upper right-hand corner and click on Creator Studio, that's gonna load the classic version as you can see here. And we can see up in the upper left-hand corner, it says Try Studio Beta. That's where we're heading. All right, so that's loaded. This is basically the interface that you are going to see right when you get in. It's kind of a dashboard. It gives you some analytics on the right-hand side with some recent numbers, but we are going to focus in here on the left side where we can see dashboard videos, analytics, comments, transcriptions, monetization, which you won't have until you actually get the merch shelf, but we'll talk about that in just a minute. And then there's an other features category. So the other features, is going to come in really handy because that's pretty much going to show you all the stuff that's missing right now they're putting those other features with hyperlinks to the old uh, creator studio so as they continue to add more features to the youtube studio version that list is going to get smaller and you're going to actually see menu items here so uh, let's take a look first we're familiar with our video list uh, this is similar to the video list in the uh, youtube or creator studio uh, except we're seeing a little bit more detail here on the video list you can see you see a, a high level view of all of your videos and you can actually sort here by views. Um, that's going to show you your views, your comments, likes versus dislikes, uh, a bunch of stuff right here on uh, this format. And you can sort uh, by, uh, you know, date, views, comments, whatever uh, you would like to. All right, so I do want to show you real quick how you get to the actual video edit menu. You can click on any one of the videos here. That's going to bring you into the edit menu where you can change things like your title and description and tags, uh, you know, whether it's public or not. And then you also have the advanced tab here with some additional features. I'm actually, for the most part, still using the classic version of this. Uh, just because I'm more comfortable with it and I'm not sure that everything has been fully updated on this page But uh, as we continue to move, move forward, you're gonna have to start becoming Familiar with both of them. So you're ready to use this one when the other one goes away now The other thing you can also go straight to comments This used to be I believe under the community menu But now you can jump in here and actually see your most recent comments So if you need to answer comments on your channel rather than going video to video, this is where you live right here so you can come in here, somebody says awesome video, you're like, oh, thanks, I appreciate it, give them a heart, uh, and move on to the rest of them. Now, uh, beyond that, analytics is probably one of the biggest reasons you come in here. Um, so I am going to give you a quick overview of the analytics and what all of this looks like. Uh, this is the general dashboard, it's showing you watch time by default. You can click above here to see these different uh, items. You've got views, subscribers, and your estimated view. Now, uh, by default, this is gonna show you the last 28 days. You have a drop down menu in the upper right hand corner where you can switch it to 90 days, any of these presets, or you can come down here and do uh, actually custom. We'll just throw it back to 28 days for now. Uh, you also have your live activity, uh, which we see down here. This is going to give you your last 48 hours worth of traffic and also you can switch that to last 60 minutes and see that as well plus it gives you the ones the videos that are actually driving the most views in that time frame so you can actually if you hover over one of these videos you can click on the little uh the little chart that pops up and that's going to bring you to the same analytics specific to that one video so that's super helpful 
Then we have our top videos. And if you're not clicking around in YouTube studio, you might miss this, but the top videos is a great place to go because this is going to give you a lot of options to actually sort your videos by, uh, namely, the, uh, some of the new information that they provided us, which I'm going to show you here in just a minute, uh, which is the impressions and impression click-through rate. As you can see here down on the bottom, you have all your videos listed and you can actually sort them by impressions. You can sort them by click-through rate, uh, by views, average view duration, a number of things. Well, they actually haven't had it, added your ability to, to sort by average view duration, but you can search by watch time. Strangely, that's the one that they don't give you the option to sort on. Plus, you can see the chart up here. And again, you have traffic sources, where people are coming from, a bunch of different ways to look at your data. So jumping back to this main screen here, obviously we saw some options within here, uh, but the core of the, the functionality here in the analytics on uh, YouTube Studio is right here. This is your menu. So you have your overview. This is your ability to reach viewers. And this is where those new features get displayed. Uh, you can see your impressions and um, click-through rate down here. So you can see total impressions, and then you have uh, a percentage that come from your content you can click on uh, or from YouTube recommending your content you obviously we want to get that recommendation number as high as possible uh, because the more YouTube is recommending your content the better off you be and the faster your channel is going to grow for sure um, and then you see your overall click-through rate your total number of views generated and you can see that you have these little uh, mouse over points that give you some more information on the topics at hand and then all the way down to the bottom it shows you the total watch time that was generated from that process uh, from that, it's your ability to interest viewers. You're looking at your total watch time and also your average view duration over that set period of time. Remember, you can take a look at any of this stuff uh, and break it down, but that's how that um, that's how that that's laid out. You're always going to find the ability to change the date range in the upper right hand corner, and provided you're moving from screen to screen, that uh, can be sorted by date range, which is pretty much everything except the live view uh, or you know the live analytics. Uh, it will stick. It will uh, stay within the the time frame that you set up there. Uh, so we have interest viewers. We have build an audience, which is going to show you how you are gaining subscribers. It shows you the average uh, views per viewer. You have your unique viewers over this time frame, uh, which. Uh, can certainly be helpful to understand how much of your traffic is coming from the same people over and over again versus the total amount of people that have come uh, unique uh, across your channel, which means they it, you're not getting multiple views from a single person. Then it breaks down your demographics. Uh, then it goes into earn revenue. I'm not going to click on earn revenue, but that actually shows you some more information about how much you have earned. Um, I just don't know if uh, CPMs are on there and you're not supposed to share your CPMs. Uh, on YouTube. So uh, that is the analytics section. We went over comments, monetization when you do get it. This is where when you have a merch, merch shelf where you can sell products on your channel, you're going to be able to drill over to the menu on Teespring through this interface. Uh, plus it also, they moved uh, Super Chat and some information about Super Chat here as well. But that's basically what's going on here. Now, like I said, other features, it's showing you the features that they haven't moved over to YouTube Studio yet. We can see playlists, live streaming, status and features, audio library, uh, customized channel, and, and it has more, which will drive us somewhere over to the Creator Studio Classic, uh, this being, of course, the YouTube Studio Beta. Also, you have some options to send feedback uh, on this new interface down in the lower left-hand corner, which uh, I think is hiding behind my head, but the options down there are settings, uh, what's new, it gives you some recaps about updates, you have the option to send feedback there, and then there is a link down there to go back to the Creator Studio, the classic Creator Studio, anytime you need to. And I just thought of one other thing that they kind of hid, so I'm going to share that with you right now. Uh, and that is your ability to add end screens. Uh, in this uh, interface with YouTube Studio, if you drill into a specific video and you want to add end screens to it, I'm just going to show you real quick how they've done this. I'm not particularly thrilled with how they did this, and I almost forgot about it because of how they've implemented it. Uh, so let me know in the comments whether you think this is a good place. But this is the end screen. You actually have to go into the editor of the video. Um, and then this is where you actually have the option to create end screens for uh, your given video. So you can go down here, as you can see here in your little menu, 
uh, you have the option to add element. And then once you add element, as you can see, you're clicked on the different ones here. The menus pop up over here, uh, or the, the information about those actually pop up over here. And then you can actually change the element, pick a given video, uh, et cetera. So I don't know if I, I like having to go into the editor to do that, whether I consider that an editor item, but I'm definitely interested in what you guys think. Do you like the fact that end screens are in the editor? Uh, it's not some place that I would normally think of going to actually add end screens, but uh, we did cover it. It is in there, uh, and we'll see what they, what other features they add to the the YouTube, uh, uh, the new editor. So if you haven't used the editor at all, it's basically right now the way the functionality works. It's going to be most valuable if you just simply want to trim maybe a live stream, take some some dead space off the front or end or or clean up a video a little bit. It's good for doing that, cutting pieces out. Uh, I will throw a link um, up there, way up there. Uh, to the tutorial I did on this particular screen and how to use the actual YouTube Studio Beta Editor. And hey, don't forget, this video has been sponsored by TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is your number one browser plugin for managing and growing your YouTube channel. It's available to download for free, and there's a link in the description below. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know your feedback in the comments below. If I missed anything and you have questions, let me hear those as well. I will do my best to get back to you. And if you want to receive future notifications to help you deliver your value through online video, make sure you click that subscribe subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. My name is Dan Courier and you're watching Creator Fundamentals. Thank you.